hi guys welcome to my channel so today's video is going to be in the sewing tutorial of this beautiful corset top i already have the drafting and cutting tutorial up there on my channel so check up here you are going to be seeing the link to the drafting tutorial or you can also check the description section and also the comment section for the link as well so this is the fabric i'm going to be using to make this beautiful corset this is four yards of fabric so this four yards is going to be enough for me to make this corset top and also to make the ruffle skirt so if you want to see the tutorial on how i make the ruffle skirt don't forget to turn on post notification and subscribe to my channel so if you end up enjoying this video don't forget to like and leave your comment please your comment is what really tells me if you guys are interested in what i do here don't forget to comment even if it's just your favorite emoji leave it if you have any question feel free to ask me i will definitely respond so let us dive into today's video so i've gone ahead to use my pattern paper to cut it out on my fabric and this is it as you can see and i also went ahead to add half an inch joining allowance around this area like this from the top down to this to the down area so around this area i didn't add any sewing allowance because i already added my sewing allowance when i was drafting it so this i also went ahead to add sewing allowance around the top the sides and also the down so this is the cup i went ahead to also add sewing allowance round on both sides for the shoulder sleeve this is it this one is for the back and this one is for the front i also went ahead to add half an inch like this like this this is the armhole i didn't add any sewing allowance to the armhole so this is the breast cup i'm going to be using my breast size is 36 if your bust size is 36 go ahead and make use of 38 so it's advisable to make use of 38 because of the that you are going to be adding at the end of the day and at the same time if you want to pack your bust very well so you need that so this is the back part of the corset dress so this is the up part i wanted to add half an inch for the sewing allowance so this is the side that they add and this is the down what i had to add half an inch this is the zipper allowance i didn't add anything if you have watched the drafting tutorial i'm about to explain something to you guys that i actually talked about while i was drafting it so as you can see this is the back pattern i'm just going to remove the pin remember on the drafting and cutting tutorial video i told you guys that i'm going to be i'm just going to go ahead and cover up the the dart then at the end of the day i'm going to be cutting out one piece at the back so i'm not going to be cutting two separate pieces at the end of the day joining it together right so this is it i went ahead to cover up the dart for the back this is it it's very easy i do this a lot on my tutorials i will just cover it up like this go ahead and flip it inside i'll just advise you watch the draft tutorial so that you understand this better so after covering it i'll just go ahead and use my office pin and pin it down then iron it place it on my fabric and cut it out it's as simple as that so i'm just going to go ahead and remove the pattern paper so i'll just go ahead and remove the pins so after cutting it out i went ahead to iron cloth stain on my fabric just to give it this fabric is kind of a little bit light in weight so just to give it a strength i went ahead to add cloth stain on it and also i went ahead to cut out my lining for the toning so i went ahead to add gum stain on my lining while on my fabric i went ahead to add cloth stain so i also did the same thing for the back and i also did the same thing for the cup as you can see i'm just going to go ahead and open it up right now so this is the cup so this is the lining so i'm just going to go ahead and fold it back because i don't want to mess this up I'm just going to go ahead and sew the center front to the side front like this and sew it. So I'm just going to go ahead and place the right side of the center front to the right side of the side front like this. After placing it, I'll just go ahead and pin it down using my office pin. I'll go ahead and pin the other side like this. I will take it to my sewing machine and sew it with half an inch like this from the top here down to the end over here then i will flip it aside after sewing it i will also sew this other side with half an inch 
so once i'm done sewing it i'll show you guys the next thing to do i've gone ahead to sew it and this is it and i also want ahead to give it a very good press as you can see so once you are done sewing it go ahead and iron it out then once i was done with that i want to fold it equal like this so i want to iron it to the back side so right now i'm going to be creating channels for my bone and this is the black boba bias i'm going to be using you can also go ahead and make use of any color of your dress depending on the color of the dress you're making so i'm going to be using this black so i'm just going to go ahead and mark out the lines where i'm going to be sewing the bonnet case i will mark a straight line on the center so i'm trying to follow the way it look like on the dress okay so this is the dress you can see that the channels look like m so i'll mark a straight line on the center then from the middle of the bust i'll mark a slant line to meet with them so meet with the straight line i marked at the center and i will do the same thing for the other side the next line is going to be where i joined together where i joined the center front and the side front together that is where i sew together i'll mark a straight line there so one is going to be at the middle there as well then i will also come to this side i will go in by one and a half inch i will mark a point there i will come to this down side i will go in by half inch i'll mark a point there i'll go ahead and draw a straight line across from the up to the down so i'm just trying to follow up with what she has on her dress i will also repeat the same thing on the other side one and a half inch i will come down mark half inch then mark a slant line and join it together this is how it look like on the dress this is the exact type we have on the dress but for me i'm just going to go ahead and add one extra line okay i will come to the down here i will mark three inches at the down they will just connect a straight line from the up down to the three inches i marked at the down and i'm also going to do the same thing for the other side so i hope you guys understand what i'm saying this one i'm just adding is extra this is how it look like this is it so the next thing is to go ahead and pin my boba bias on it like this on each of this line that i marked i'll go ahead and pin it on it then cut it out i'm just going to follow up with the lines that i marked like this and pin it down so just go ahead and pin it on all the line so it's very important for you to draw out a line before pinning your boba bias on it and you can also style this in your own way so it's not compulsory you must style yours the way i styled mine you can just decide to design your own in your own way so once i was done this is how it looked like so i'm going to take it to the sewing machine and sew it close to the edge like this then i also sew close to the edge like this i will sew every single pieces like this okay so once i was done with that i will go ahead and draw for the back so for the back i'm just going to come to the zipper allowance here like this i will go in by one and a half inch for the zipper allowance so i will come to the down i will also mark one and a half inch okay so from that one and a half inch i will mark my nipple to nipple measurement which is four inches then i will also mark it for the down i will mark it for the up i will mark it for the down i will connect it together so from this line i just marked i will go ahead and mark another line so i'll measure three and a half inch from that point then i will also measure three and a half inch here like this i will connect it together so i'm just going to mark a straight line at this zipper allowance here i didn't mark it before i'll just mark a straight line so that i will know the part where i'm going to be sewing my boba bias so i'm just going to go ahead and pin my boba bias on the back like this and sew it so whatever i do for the front is what i'm going to be doing for the back and the other side as well so i'm just going to go ahead and sew it so this is me sewing it as you can see so once i was done sewing one side i'll go ahead and sew the other side like this so when you are sewing please make sure you sew close to the edge so that your bony case can enter so when you are buying a bony case make sure to buy the tiniest one otherwise it will not enter this boba bias so i'm going to be showing you guys though when i'm facing it so if you are watching me you've not subscribed to this channel and you want to see more sewing and cutting tutorials on this channel do it to go and subscribe and do it to like and comment so i've gone ahead to sew it this is how it look like as you can see so i also went ahead to sew for the back as well 
so this is the back you can see how beautiful this is and i want to sew on both sides of the back this is the cup i'm going to be using i'm just going to go ahead and fold it into two to the back then i will sew the top like this so this is just for me to hold the dart at the top okay not the down so i've gone ahead to sew it this is how it look like i'm just going to go ahead and keep it aside then this is the the cup for the corset so this is number one and this is number two please do want to pay attention to one thing i'm about to say right now when i was drafting it i went ahead to label it to be able to identify and differentiate them so this is number one and this one is number two so you are going to separate your pattern paper or your drafting paper from your cup like this and place it like this i'm going to be picking this like this number one and i'll pick number two like this so first of all you are going to on your own try as much as possible to differentiate this number one and number two just look for something to mark it so that when you want to attach it to your cup you will know which one is going to be at the center front and which one is going to be at the side front so this one is going to be at the center front which is number one so this one is the one going towards the side so i'll go ahead and notch number two this is to make it very easy for me to identify I will notch number two like this. So this is it. I'll go ahead and I'll pin it together. So once I was done pinning it, I will take to the same machine and sew it with half an inch like this. So I'm going to be doing the same thing for the second one. So I'm still going to go ahead and notch number two here. So I'm going to be doing the same thing for the lining as well. So once I was done pinning it, I'm going to take it to the same machine and sew it like this with half an inch. So I'm going to be doing the same thing for the four pieces. So I've gone ahead to sew it. What I'm going to be doing next is to go ahead and notch it around. So after notching it, I will take it to my ironing table and iron it. So I've gone ahead to iron it at, this is how it look like as you can see. You can see that it's already given it that cup effect already. So this is the lining. So this one that I didn't mark, this is number one. So this is going to be sitting at the center front. Let's say for instance, at the end of the day, you didn't take note of it or you didn't mark it. So you might end up placing it like this. This part that is supposed to be for the side front you might end up putting it at the center front so after sewing your corset you'll be like oh this thing is not balanced on me i don't know why this thing is not sitting well on my bust meanwhile you just went ahead to place the side that is supposed to be at the side front to the center front so it's very important for you to take note of these things so that at the end of the day you don't mess up with your corset so i'm just going to go ahead and place it on my cup like this so i'm just going to go ahead and use my pin to pin this to my bra cup okay so at the end of the day this um bra cover they actually fit into my bra cup what i did is that i went ahead to hold the bra cup more if you check the center you're going to see that i went ahead to hold it and trim it out so that's why i said that when you are buying a cup let it be a little bit bigger than your bust with like two inches so mine was bigger with four inches and i did add allowance to it was quite bigger and the bra cover did cover the cup so i just went ahead to sew it and trim it out so that is what i did so i'll take it to the same machine now and sew it like this round so i've gone ahead to sew it as you can see so i'm just going to go ahead and trim out this little accessories at the up here so that i'll be able to sew it okay so i'll just trim it out like this and i'll do the same thing for this other one so what i'm going to be doing now is to also identify which side is going to be at the center front because i'm about to attach it to my dress so this is the side this is the side so this is how it's going to be placed on my dress now i'm just going to go ahead and place this on my dress like this then place this other one so i'm just going to go ahead and place it like this and pin it down
I will also pin the other side as you can see me doing. After pinning it, I will take to the same machine and sew it with half an inch. I will also sew the other side. So I've gone ahead to sew it and this is how beautiful it is and this is the back part of it. So I'm just going to go ahead and keep it aside and this is the lining. I will keep it aside. So I'm just going to go ahead and remove the pin from the shoulder or the neckline, whatever. I hope you guys understand. So I'll go ahead and line in it. I'll place the lining on both the front and the back. So the right side will be facing right side. I will take to the same machine and sew it with half an inch. I will do the same thing for the other side and do the same thing for the back. So I'm not going to be sewing the armhole, just the the part where I showed you guys. So once I was done sewing it, this is how it look like. I'm just going to go ahead and fold it like this and iron it at okay using my iron. So I will do the same thing for the four pieces for the other one, both the front and the back. So I will iron it. After ironing it, I will take to the same machine and top stitch on it. Like I will just sew it together so that it will not it will not be moving when I want to attach it to my corset. So I've gone ahead to iron it out. I'm just going to place it on my dress like this, as you can see. So it's going to be starting on my darts. I'm going to place it like this, right side facing, right side on the darts. Starting from the darts area, then I will pin it down. I will do the same thing for the other side, like this. Just make sure it's starting from the darts on your cup. I will sew it with half an inch. I will sew this other side. So I've gone ahead to, I will also do the same thing for the back. I will place it on the dart area like this. I will pin it down and I will also pin the other side down. Then I will sew it. So I've gone ahead to sew it. This is how it look like. So this is the back as well. So I'm just going to go ahead and flip the shoulder or the neckline back. Then use your pin to pin it down when you flip it back, pin it to your cup. Then I'll place the lining on it like this. I will pin it down. Then take to the sewing machine and sew it with half an inch okay so after pinning it i'm just going to go ahead i'm just going to go ahead and add hemi gum to it so i'm going to repin it again i just decided to do this this is my first time doing this so that once i'm done sewing it if i iron it the up will be firm so i've gone ahead to sew it this is how it look like so this is how it look like i'm going to go ahead to insert my bone on it this is the bone i'm going to be using is the tiniest of it like the tiniest bone so they have different sizes i'm just going to go ahead and place it on my bony case at the top like this i will place it like this i will measure it i will minus one inch from the dam so go ahead and minus either one inch or half inch from yours I also place it like this and minus one inch from the down then i will cut it after cutting it i'll go ahead and use lighter and bond the tip like this so that to not bust out from the uh, boba bias i will go ahead and place it on each of the cases like this it's very easy cut it out then place it inside and place every single piece inside it's very easy so i'm also going to be doing the same thing for the back as well so this is how it look like after I was done inserting the bony on it. So I'll go ahead and flip it like this, then turn it like this. Remember, if you if you take notes, you're going to see that the lining is shorter than the main fabric. So I'm just going to go ahead and drag it. I do this a lot on my tutorials. I will drag it like this, then pin it together. So once I'm done pinning it, I will take it to the same machine and sew it. I will sew it with half an inch like this so for me i'm going to be sewing it with one inch though so i will sew the sides like this but this other side i'm not going to sew it because that is where i'm going to be turning it at from so i've gone ahead to sew it this is what i have i'm just going to go ahead and turn it at from that space i told you guys not to sew i will go ahead and iron it so my iron is not that hot again so i'm just going to keep it aside but for you go ahead and iron it out then this side that is open i'm going to fold it in like this then i will take it to the same machine and sew it down so just take it to the same machine and fold it in and sew it that is very easy so this is the back so i'm going to flip the shoulder or the neckline in like this or the yoke then i will pin 
the lining to it and i'm also going to be adding hemi gum to it just like what i did for the front so i'll sew the up i'll sew it down i'll sew the side i turn it out from the zipper allowance I will minus one inch from the down just like what I did for the front. I'm going to be doing it for the two sides before sewing it. Okay, I'll go ahead and sew it. So guys, I've gone ahead to sew it. This is the back. This is how it looks like. I went ahead to sew it, turn it out, and this is the front. You can see how beautiful it is. So when I was done sewing it, I just went ahead to give it a little press. Okay, go ahead and iron it. So I'm, the next thing I'm going to be doing is to attach the zip to the dress at the back. That is the back part. I will attach my zip to it. I will sew it like this. Then I will sew the other one on it. It's very easy. So once I was done sewing it, this is how it looked like. I will just go ahead and open it up and zip it up back. So I want to try to join the shoulder together. Please, if you have weave machine, weave your shoulder. Just weave it. Okay, once you are done. So I want to try to just join it together. Then... The next thing is to go ahead and shape in my dress. So I'll go ahead and pin it down. And remember when I was drafting it, I added one and a half inch joining allowance. So I'm just going to go ahead and minus that one and a half, that one and a half inch that I added. So this is me marking it. Once I was done, I'll go ahead and connect the points together, take it to the same machine and sew it. While for the yoke, which is the shoulder, when I was drafting it, I went ahead to uh, minus, like just, I went in from the armhole area by one and a half inch i would advise you go in by two inches or two and a half inch okay so after sewing it i discovered that the shoulder which is the yoke was too tiny so i've gone ahead to cut out my sleeve which i'm going to be attaching to it so this is a black um net i don't know the name they call it in your area but this is just like a flower net so i'm just going to go ahead and notch the center after notching it i'll go ahead and place it on my dress like this i will pin it from the start to the end. So once I was done pinning it, I'll go ahead and sew it with half an inch like this from the start to the end so guys don't forget to subscribe to this channel if you are yet to subscribe if you want to see more of cutting and sewing tutorials and like share with your friends so guys i'm done sewing it this is how it look like on my next video i'll be showing you guys how to draft and also sew the skirts with a side ruffle see you guys on my next video bye and don't forget to subscribe and like see you